the master of my life has revealed to me that it is time for you people to become acquainted with the worship room of the gods. Where they had, they had the, the spirits that had materialized, they, took, uh, they photographed them, and then they had paintings made of them. And there was um, probably about maybe a hundred of those around the place. So how did you feel when you walked into that room? I um, felt that uh, these people had power, and they had a lot of it. Did that attract you? Uh, yes and no. You had mixed feelings about it. I had mixed it. feelings about it. Yeah. Because to a certain extent, things looked so good and sounded so good to us. But you see, I'd been brought up in a Christian home. Uh, my dad says, well, you know, if you get involved in wrongdoing, you're going to have to pay the price. There's always a cost for everything in this world. So this thought kept creeping to my mind. Just how far you go with these spirits before we can start paying the price. So it made you just a little bit nervous. Oh yes. But yet you kept going back. Oh, there was no way out. Because that's what we were told. You knew at that time. Yeah. So you were moving forward more on fear. More on fear, yes. Because the, the high priest said that the, the master had special plans for us in our lives. And that no one ever went into the society unless they were invited by the spirits. So that was made very clear. In reality, Roger, you were chosen mm -hmm. by high-powered demon spirits mm -hmm. to be a part of their human, special, privileged mm -hmm. group. You see, these people in Montreal, the society, uh, like the priest mentioned, there's thousands of spirit worshippers in only different societies of spirit worshippers in this world. But he says, we are the elite. We know the real truth about it the master and his angels. And they are not idiot looking beings. They are gorgeous creatures. And from the paintings that they had on the, on the, in, on the wall of the walls of that worship room. Now, when you would go to these praise sessions, mm -hmm. what kinds of things happened at those, at those sessions? Well, there's a lot of uh, success stories. Uh, the, the masters has done this for me and that for me. I remember one... Yeah. At what point did this demon worship start to affect you personally, Roger? Well, it wasn't too long that the priest mentioned to us that uh, the time had arrived for us to start trusting the spirits and give the spirits a chance to work for us. And there was a number of gifts that you could choose from.
priest mentioned to us that uh, the time had arrived for us to start trusting the spirits and give the spirits a chance to work for us. And there was a number of gifts that you could choose from. Well, Alibaba had them 40 thieves, Sherry's out, he had a thousand tails. But master, you in luck, cause pop your sleeves, you got a brand of magic never fails. You got some power in your corner now, some heavy ammunition in your camp. You got some punch to dance, job you and house, all you gotta do is rub that lamp. And I'll say, Mr. Alanza, what will your pleasure be? Let me take your order, judge it down, you ain't never had a friend like me. <laughs> your restaurant and have your made a deal. Come on, whisper what it is you want. You ain't never had a friend like me. Yes, sir. We pride ourselves on service. You're the boss, the king, the shah. Say what you wish. It's yours, true dish. About a little more baklava. As I'm a column A, try all of column B. I'm in the mood to help you, dude. You ain't never had a friend like me. Come, come, come on and let me out.